watching New York One News all morning. This is the New York Living Health and Fitness Report. It's been nearly 30 years since world champion boxer Muhammad Ali was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Since then, his family has been vocal in the fight to raise awareness. Uh, Ali's daughter, Rashida, recently sat down with New York One Health reporter Kavid Drexel talking about her father and promising research aimed at helping people with Parkinson's. One of nine children of world-famous boxer Muhammad Ali, who just celebrated his 70th birthday in January, it's clear where Rashida Ali gets her drive. My dad is, is, is quite a role model for us. Um, certainly when he was first diagnosed in the mid-80s, we didn't have the answers that we have now. So certainly he was probably taken aback and you know disappeared from the limelight for a little while um, so that he can figure out what it is that he has. So once my dad was able to accept what he has, then he was able to become the ambassador that he always has been. He has core values that he exuberates uh, every day, and I think that's what made him not only a great boxer, but it made him a great man. You can find those same values in the work she's doing to back more research in the area of Parkinson's disease and other nerve disorders, like multiple sclerosis and Lou Gehrig's disease. She feels so strongly about it that she joined the board of biotech company Brainstorm Cell Therapeutics, which has offices in New York and Israel. It's one of many companies working with a patient's own adult stem cells to help regenerate damaged neurons. Preliminary results in a handful of ALS patients just showed a slowing down in the progression of the disease. It's very promising to be able to say, hey, <clears throat> our scientists are saying that, you know what, the results are incredible, these patients are feeling great, their symptoms have dissipated. I mean, I think that's major news for us and for all the people who are in the neurodegeneration world is that, you know, we have hope for these people. In fact, a similar trial with MS patients is about to get underway. Ali says one of her big hopes is that FDA approval comes through in the U.S. to conduct more clinical research so that more patients might see a benefit. Kafi Drexel, New York One.